Now that you have your name drawn out in correct perspective and the black pen outline, what you're going to do next is you're going to start working on the coloring part of it. So you're going to use colored pencils and there's a few different colored pencil techniques that I'm going to show you. But I'm also going to show you a few things that you need to be aware of when you're working on the design part of it. For example, with my M here, you see that I have these stripes. If I want the stripes to continue in the three-dimensional part of um, my letter, I need to make sure that those lines go to the vanishing point. I can't have them go, for example, straight across. Because if they go straight across, then it's going to flatten my letter out. So what I want to do is I want to take each of those stripes, line it up with my vanishing point, and I'm going to draw in the lines like so. Then it will keep my whole name in correct perspective. So see how the lines go there. Same thing with this part over here. You're going to outline all of your designs in the black pen. So as you can see over here, I did the circles and they're outlined in the black pen. I would suggest that you draw them in pencil first so that in case you need to erase a mistake, you can. And then once you have it all set, you can go ahead and outline it in the black pen. All right, so now I have my stripes drawn in. Now these ones are a little bit brighter in color because I colored in a solid orange in the background and then I just took a yellow colored pencil and colored right on top. And that's going to kind of give it a little bit more interest with the double color. So you can layer colors of colored pencil but you want to make sure that you're using colors that are next to each other on the color wheel which are analogous colors. So um, you know, the reds and the oranges and the yellows are going to work well, pinks, blues, and purples, those kinds of things. Then when you're coloring in your, uh, the background part or the three-dimensional part, you're going to want to use a color that's darker than the color you used on the face of the letter to kind of show that depth of color. So maybe the red against that orange. And that'll kind of help create that three-dimensional effect as well. And then if I wanted to, I could take an orangish color and just color lightly over again for that layering technique. So there's the layering technique of colored pencil. Then if I wanted to do, for example, this one over here, I've got my colors with the yellow and I want to blend just a little bit of orange into those. So I'm going to use a really light pressure to color pencil and just kind of color all of that in to add a little bit more depth to it. Not too much, just a little bit. like so. So you can see the difference between these. Now the other technique that I want to show you is how to use a pressure blend. So if you are going to use a blending or a pressure blend that means you're starting out real nice and dark and bold on the edges of your letter and then as you come into the center you're lightening the pressure of your pencil so that it's getting lighter and lighter. I want to try real hard to stay in my lines and kind of keep the colored pencil going the same direction. And now I'm going to start lightening it up. So I'm going to just lightly release the pressure nice and evenly so that it gets a lot lighter as I come in towards the center of my letter. I want it to be gradual. I don't want it to look like stripes.
my darkest color towards my edge. I'm gonna round out these edges here. And then again, just gradually getting lighter and lighter. that basic